Can you hear me? Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if you could hear me. Um, my girlfriend said you'd be good to talk to you. Okay. Oh, this is free, right? Okay. Good. Um, I've never done nothing like this, and uh, you know, I'm weird about the internet and my credit card and that. Uh, well, um, I wanted to talk about my friend Dewey. Uh, we grew up together, uh, you know, did all the stuff kids do, you know, baseball, football, fishing, chasing girls, and everything. Uh, but by senior high, we started you know, drinking beers, smoking joints, and getting stoned. You know? <laughs> Our motto was back then, uh, tomorrow. You know? Everything was tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we liked the party. You know? um, me more than Dewey. He had a strong will, you know. He wanted out of here and uh, kept up with the books, got good grades, you know, went to college. Heck, he, he learned languages for fun. You know. He did real good, too. And moved away, made a lot of money. Uh, no, uh, I was happy staying here. You know, I'm a small town boy, just working at the factory and living that uh, tomorrow philosophy all my life. I thought about getting out for a while, yeah, you know, with my painting. I paint. Uh, my specialty is Americana, you know. <laughs> and there ain't no more American people than the ones around here from McKeesport. No, no. <laughs> they don't care if I draw them as long as I buy them something, you know. Like a six pack or a can of snuff or a pack of smokes, you know. Uh, then I take the paintings up there to the mall. Um, they got this arts and crafts show. You know, I bought a table and sold a couple paintings. Um, guy from downtown Pittsburgh came up, gave me his card, you know, told me to call him, see what he could do for me. Well, <laughs> what happened was, see, uh, as luck would have it, the next day I ended up working a double down at the plant, and then after the double, I went to the bar and forgot. Well, the next day, I finally did remember. I thought, you know, I'll call him tomorrow. But then, that tomorrow became another tomorrow, and, well, you know how that goes. And now, I mean, heck, it's, that was 20 years ago. I always wonder, you know, what would have happened if I had made one of those tomorrows a today? I guess I'll never know. That's one of my biggest regrets. Uh, the other, uh, <laughs> well, that I got in this stupid fight with Dewey the last time I seen him. For years I've been thinking about, I'll call him tomorrow, you know, I'll write him tomorrow, see how he's doing, you know, apologize, reconnect or something. So yesterday, I decided to call his mom, you know, get his number. Doesn't matter who's right or wrong, he's my brother and it's been too long. You know. But his mom said he ain't talking to nobody right now. Because he's real sick, you know. He, he's been living in Italy these last few years. Since he's got that virus that's been going around. He got that. She said that she's... Ain't sure if she'll ever see him again. You know, you know it's one thing for me not being able to talk to him, but his own mom. You know, I don't think of good thoughts, though. So. Because I figure if he was tough and smart enough to get out of this little town, he'll beat this thing. And, and we'll talk. We'll talk and I'll tell my friend I'm sorry. And, uh, that I love him.